I haven't read the paperwork, so I can only go by what I'm hearing. And the reports are saying that under oath, allegedly, under oath, Dwight Howard admitted to having sexual relations with a male. So let's just say that that's true. I don't like to see that. You know, I was a Dwight Howard fan. You know, as an African, someone who believes in African culture and consciousness, it hurts when I see my brothers go that way. It hurts when I see my sisters go that way, because in our culture, that is not considered healthy family structure. We don't do that. We believe in two genders, African people who are the oldest people in the world. We have only ever ascribed to two genders, masculine and feminine. And that is based on our spiritual foundation where we believe that God created masculine energy and feminine energy in everything. There is a plus and a minus in everything. There's a masculine and a feminine in everything. For the water, you got the land. For the sun, you got the moon. For the man, you got the woman. For night, you got dark. Opposites balance the universe. So for us, from a cosmological, metaphysical, spiritual standpoint, we would never upset the natural harmony God created between masculine divinity and feminine divinity. So when people like me say we disagree with the lifestyle, we don't hate nobody. I don't hate no homosexuals. I don't hate no transgenders. I don't hate lesbians, bisexuals. I don't hate nobody. But as an African, I disagree with this pattern of romance because I know in the long run, we're going to suffer from it. Let's think about it. Only one out of every four black women get married. One out of four. So if one out of four is getting married and you have another young man turning towards an alternative life, another, you know, man turning toward alternative life, you're taking one to four, you turning that into one to five, one to 10, one to 11. You know what you call that? You call that genocide. You call that genocide. Let's look at Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, there's one black man, I think, to every eight black women. There's some cities where it's one black man to every 20 black women. One to 20. So if you have men turning towards homosexuality, you just turn one to 20 to one to 40. That's genocide. And I don't think we are looking at this from a collective community perspective. So when I hear about situations like Dwight Howard's, I don't hate my brother, but I disagree with what he's doing because you're supposed to be with a black woman. You're, you're a healthy young black man. Get you a queen. Let's build families because our children need to see examples of healthy black female relationships. If they don't see black love, they will not make black love. It's that simple. And we have to look that there's a media war right now for the minds of our children when it comes to the snow bunny crisis. Because when you turn on the TV, every cartoon, black man, white woman, black woman, white man, the sitcoms, black man, white woman, black woman, white man, commercials, black man, white woman, black woman, white man. Why are they doing this? White people are not in love with black people. So while we're seeing the proliferation of false romances between black and white all over the media because they want to convince our children to abandon black love. They want to convince our children that they can all be Serena Williams. They want to convince our children they can all be Meghan Markle. That's not a reality. Yes, you do have white men marrying black women. You do. But white men are not knocking down the door of the black community to marry our women. The research does not show that. So if we're telling black girls that there's a white man waiting for you, you need not worry about black men, that is dishonest. No man marries out their community more than black men do. In fact, I just read some statistics the other day. Most white men will marry white women. Okay, most successful white men will marry white women. Most black men will marry black women. But when you get to middle and upper class and celebrity black men, they marry out the race more than the men of every of, the, of every other race of the same social economic status. They marry more than they do. So we clearly have an issue of successful black men going outside the community and they will deny that it has anything to do with self-hate. They will deny that it has anything to do with racial insecurities. 
Let's, they know that these white women ain't dating them because they love them. They know they only dating them because they got the bag and they went the bag. I mean, look at the divorce settlements. Look what Tiger Woods went through. I mean, come on. It's no mystery why these white women are jumping at these black males. It's for an economic payday. And you know what's sad? The black males know that the white women are only dating them for the money. They know it. And they still go into these relationships. Every other week you see a black athlete marrying a white woman who would have never even looked at him if it wasn't for the pocketbook. You know, so for me, I have nothing against the white female. But as someone who loves the black family, who wants to see my people thrive, survive and succeed, I cannot support interracial marriage because we're supposed to be building families in the black community. Black on black love. What's wrong with black on black love? Charity starts at home. And if you can't make a woman with a if you can't make a family with a black woman, then there's no need for you to consider yourself part of the black community.